This is the second part of the lesson on parallel and perpendicular lines. In this part of the lesson, we are going to focus on perpendicular lines. So the graph drawn has a gradient of 2. What is the equation of that line? So I'll repeat the question. The graph drawn has a gradient of 2. What is the equation of that line? In order for you to answer this question, you need to consider the formula of a straight line which is y equals mx plus c. m stands for the gradient and c stands for the y-intercept. If you know where the y-intercept is, it shouldn't be so difficult to answer this question. The answer should be y equals 2x minus 1 since the gradient is already provided and the y-intercept is negative 1. It then goes on to ask, draw the graph of y equals negative half x minus 1. In order for you to do this, you are going to need to find the coordinates between the points negative 10 and 10. Now, you don't have to do every single one of them. I would advise you to just go from negative 3 to 3. Just for, this, just for the time being. Pause this video, have, pause this video, find the coordinates, plot them on the graph, and then join them up with a straight line. Once you are done, press play again and see if you are correct. Once you draw the line it should look like this now of course this line has gone from negative 10 to 10 but I did advise that you don't have to find all of the coordinates so if your line partially fits which I'm assuming it should be from negative 3 to 3 this is the area that we are focusing on now what do you notice about the two lines well they cross at a right angle and for that reason, they are known as perpendicular lines. So all perpendicular lines cross at a right angle. Okay, the graph drawn has a gradient of negative one quarter. What is the equation of that line? Well, if the gradient is given to you, all you need to do is find the y-intercept. And as you can see, it is positive two. Therefore, the equation of this line is y equals negative 1 quarter x plus 2. It then goes on to say, draw the graph of y equals 4x minus 2. Now again, you don't have to do this for all of the values between negative 10 and 10. Just do it from negative 3 to 3 in order for you to get enough of the line segment so that it also crosses the y-axis and that you can tell whether it is a perpendicular line or not. Pause this video, find the coordinates, plot them on the graph and then join them with a straight line. What you should have got is as follows. Okay, so what do you notice about the lines? Again, they cross at a right angle. Therefore, these two lines are perpendicular. Okay, based on what we've just seen, the first box right here provides equations for the first two perpendicular lines. And the second box provides the equations for the second two perpendicular lines. So it says we've established that these pairs of lines are perpendicular. What similarity do you notice between these pairs of lines? You may not notice anything because for some of you this is probably the first time studying this. The similarity between the two lines actually is that if you multiply the gradients together, you would actually get minus 1. So if you multiplied the gradient of the first one, which is 2, and the second one, which is negative a half, if you multiply them two together, you get an answer of minus one. 
Similarly, if you multiply the gradients of the second two lines, you'd get minus one quarter times by four, which is also minus one. The one rule that you need to know is that the gradient of two perpendicular lines multiply to make minus one. So, what we know so far, perpendicular lines have gradients that multiply to make minus one, with one of them being the negative reciprocal of the other. Now, some of you may be wondering, what is the negative reciprocal? Well, if you see the link on the top right hand side of the screen right now, it will take you to another video which will explain how to find the reciprocal and then how to find the negative reciprocal. And hopefully that will clarify how you can identify whether two lines are perpendicular or not. Okay, once you have watched that video, please have a go at finding the negative reciprocal of the following questions. I'm just going to talk you through the first one. So the reciprocal of three is simply minus one third. Pause the video, have a go at the remaining questions. Once you are done, play the video again and check whether you have got them correct or not. The answers to the following questions are negative one over seven, positive one ninth, one fifth, five, and negative seven over two. Now, if you look at question number five, it's a minus there and the one has dropped below the five. So the answer should still be minus one. Okay, now identify which lines from form perpendicular pairs and which one is the odd one out. So there are two, four, six, there are seven equations there for you. Some of them may require some rearranging. It's not as straightforward as it looks. Pause the video, have a go, try to find the odd one out. Some of them do require rearranging, like I said, and then press play again when you are ready to go through the answers. So the answers are as follows. A matches with E. Since the gradient in A is minus one half, the negative reciprocal of that is going to be two. B matches with F. Since the gradient is four X, the reason why it's four X is because two Y equals A X minus one should be divided by two to get that equation in the form Y equals M X plus C. And therefore, the negative reciprocal of 4 is minus 1 quarter. The last matching pair is D and G. Since the gradient in D is 5 over 8, its negative reciprocal is going to be negative 8 over 5. Now, some of you may be thinking, how has G got a gradient of negative 8 over 5? Well, it's 5y equals 6 minus 8x. So in order to get that equation in the form y equals mx plus c, you must divide by 5. Once you do that, you will see that the gradient is negative 8 over 5x. So that leaves us with the odd one out being y equals half x plus 7. So now the question asks to find the equation of the line perpendicular to y equals minus a third x minus two and passing through the point two nine. So let's start off by finding the gradient. So we know for a fact that the gradient given to us is negative one third. So we now have to find the negative reciprocal of that to find the gradient of the perpendicular line. The negative reciprocal of minus one third is three over one, which is equivalent to three. Therefore, the gradient of the perpendicular line is y equals three x plus c. Now, all we have left to do is find c. So what we need to do is take our coordinates of x and y, which are two, nine, plug those into the equation, and then that should give us the answer for c. So as you can see, um, x is 2, 
y is 9. We plug that into y equals 3x plus c. And we get 9 equals 3 times by 2 plus c, which is 9 equals 6 plus c. Subtract 6 from both sides, and you get c as 3. Now you can put your equation together. So the final equation of the perpendicular line is y equals 3x plus 3. As you can see, the gradient of the first line is negative a third. Its negative reciprocal is 3 over 1. And therefore, that's the same as 3. So you can see that the negative reciprocals are correct. And therefore, the lines are perpendicular. Have a go at this question here. Find the equation of the line perpendicular to y equals 2x plus 4, passing through the point 3, 7. So don't forget the first thing that you need to do is find the negative reciprocal of 2 and then plug the coordinates in to the, to the equation in order for you to find the full equation for the perpendicular line. Pause this video, have a go, and when you are ready to check the answer, press play. Okay, so the answer is as follows. Your gradient is 2, so the negative reciprocal of 2 is minus 1 half. Once you've got minus 1 half as your gradient, you can plug the coordinates 3 and 7 as your x and y values. Once you plug those in, you get 7 equals negative 1 half times by 3 plus c, which gives you 7 equals minus 3 halves plus c. Now you need to add 3 halves to both sides using the balancing method and you'll get an answer of 17 over 2 as a fraction. If it was a decimal it would be 8.5. So the final equation should be y equals negative a half x plus 17 over 2 or y equals negative a half x plus 8.5. This is the task you need to find the equation of the line which is perpendicular to the following lines given. Do be careful, they are not all straightforward, they're not all in the form y equals mx plus c. You may have to rearrange, you may have to do some division as well. Please take your time and I will give you the answers for this question and the challenge question which I'm going to explain next in another video. Now, if you would like a challenge, have a go at this question here. Find the equation of the line perpendicular to 3y equals 8 minus 2x and crossing the y-axis at the same point. So, first of all, there's an issue with this and that is that the line is not in the form y equals mx plus c. You have to rearrange it first and do some division in order for you to get the first equation in the form y equals mx plus c and then you can have a go at working out the rest of the question.